So Wales beat Turkey and is turning out to be one of the feel-good stories. Let's set up the tactics the way they have been playing in the Euros so far. And let's try the team out in the Euros tournament in the game. Let's start by taking a look at the tactics and talking a little bit about how we're going to play. Okay, so this is going to be the starting 11. They have been playing in something that looks like a 4-2-3-1. And the key players here, obviously, is the attacking midfielders. We have James on the left, Ramsey in the middle, and Bale on the right. And we're going to attack down the wings. We are going to rely a lot on runs from Aaron Ramsey, who's a whole player. He has to make a lot of runs inside the box to support Kiefer Moore. Who is more like a target man inside the box. So we're going to basically have two players, at least two players, inside the box when we get around on the wing. And what we're going to do here, obviously, because these players have different strengths. And on the left side, we're going to try to get Ben Davis around and have him make crosses inside the box. With Daniel James, we're not going to do any kind of advanced passing because he can't pass. He can run and he can dribble a little bit and you can shoot from range. So he's going to basically be kind of like a dribbler. We're going to try to find him on counters. And on the right side, Gareth Bale, we can do a lot of stuff with him. We can cut inside and shoot. We can dribble. We can cross. We can, yeah, we can basically do everything with Gareth Bale. So for the attacking instructions, we're going to go with possession game. And we're going to do short passing. I want to build. Uh, slowly and build with control. I don't want to lose the ball on counters and stuff like that and get counters against. I want to build up slowly. We're going to play all out defense in defense. So I'm going to try to have everything under control as much as possible. Try to avoid like quick transitions both ways. And we're going to maintain formation and the support range. Even though we're doing short passing, we're going to have a uh, Pretty high support range of 4, at least starting out, and then we'll see what we'll do if it doesn't work out. For the defense, it's going to be all out defense. We're going to contain wide, we're going to have aggressive press, and we're going to have a pretty low defensive line. I don't want to get beaten. And for the compactness, it's going to be 6. It's going to be important to have like the middle of the pitch stacked with these 4 players we have there. The center backs and the defensive midfielders. So for the offense, I'm going to activate centering targets. I want to do some crossing when I have the ball on the wing. And I mean, we have to try, right? Because we have this target man in the middle who is pretty good at heading. And then we're going to go with the defensive, deep defensive line. Basically, just to avoid getting beat in behind. And that's it for the tactical setup. Let's head into the tournament and play some games. And we're also going to play this on Superstar. Like the Netherlands gameplay I did a couple of days ago. And match time is going to be 10 minutes. And injuries is going to be on. And we are in group A. Which is Turkey, Italy, Wales and Switzerland. So it's going to be a tough group. I think on paper we are the lowest rated team. So if we make it through the group stage I will be thrilled. We are the underdogs. So we have everything to win. And we open against Switzerland. And for this one, we have Ramsey on orange. Even though we have both Brooks and Wilson in form of the bench, I'm going to start Ramsey and see how it works out. And then I'm going to swap him out if it doesn't work. We have a couple of options of the bench in good form, but I don't think they will perform as well in that role as Ramsey will. So I will keep him and give it a go. I need to do more like professional fouls, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to tackle the player and uh, give up the free kick.
Look at this pass from uh, Joel. That was a glorious pass. Too bad James can't pass. <laughs> Here we go, here we go... No! Okay, so we are down at the break. We are not creating that much, really. And we did create like a chance at the end there, but that's typical like 45th minute defending. You get, uh, you basically get one attack for free. I'm not gonna do any changes. I'm just gonna keep playing the way I've been playing. And hopefully we will get one chance Okay, so there's 10 minutes remaining. We need to get something going here. I'm gonna put on Taylor at left back. I'm gonna push him a little bit higher like this. And... Uh, okay. I'm gonna put Bale. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Bale is pretty much done. I'm gonna put on Brooks there. And I'm gonna put on Wilson instead of Ramsey. So I'm gonna make my three substitutions. We have to get something going here. We just need to pump the ball into the box and have lots of players in there. Are you kidding me? Daniel James actually hit it on the volley. Let's take a look at the replay here. I can't believe he actually hit it. Yeah, he takes it on the volley and... Wow. Let's see another angle here. Here we go. Look at that! Oh, oh, oh. It ends in a draw. We get the draw on that crazy shot. And in the end, we didn't create all that much. I really struggle with the five backline that Switzerland are playing. So hopefully we will get maybe a little more space against Turkey. I think they are playing uh, four at the back. And in the other game, Turkey beat Italy 3-1. Which uh, basically means that I have to beat Turkey to avoid having to beat Italy, like in the last game. Let's take a look here at uh, the players. Okay, so we have to make some changes for this one. Davis is gonna sit, uh, I think. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start Davis because I have to. I don't have any options. I'm not gonna start a 65 rated Lawrence. And then Joe Allen in the midfield, he's gonna sit. I'm gonna start Ampadu. And then we have Kiefer Moore on uh, orange. I'm gonna start Vokes. And Vokes is also a target man, so he serves like the same purpose. And we have uh, Brooks available off the bench if we need him. They turn so quickly, I mean, you will never concede that goal against, like, a human player online. Oh. Okay, so we are trailing once again. We have to come back. And we have created some chances, actually. But, I don't know, I feel like we... Uh, we definitely have to get the next goal to have a chance here. I'm not gonna do any changes yet.
There we go. Ramsey. I was just waiting for him to make the run. I think I sent him on a like assisted player run. No, I was expecting him to come out. Okay, so another draw, which uh, basically means I have to beat Italy in the last game. Maybe a draw will be enough, but you can't count on it. You have to win. And we had some almost opportunities like in the end we didn't get to to finish on it we lacked like the final pass inside the box and italy won their game so looking at the table we are basically in a must win situation before the final game and here we go let's take a look at our players and take a look at this we have basically everyone ready to go and i'm gonna bench morel for this one i want to start ampadu because he's in form and I guess you could say it's a little bit better. And we have Bale in form, we have Ramsey in form, we have both our central defenders and Joel all in form. Also key for more. Take a look here, James got like a head start on everyone. Oh There we go! I actually think a lot of stuff will happen just if we pump the ball inside the box because we have Ramsey coming on the runs. We can pick up some clearances and stuff like that so we just have to pump it in and try to get finishes and try to win the second ball. Great cross from Davis here. We are lucky to get the bounce but it's a nice goal by Bale. Oh my god. That was absolutely horrible. We had so many guys inside the box there. Oh! Excellent save! Here we go. Ramsey, come on. Let's get the second one here. Let's get the second. No. Okay, so we are tied at one. We have to win. Maybe a draw can be enough to go through as a third place team. Maybe. I can't count on it, so I have to go for the win. No! No. We are getting closer. I mean, Kiefer has had three pretty big chances now. Here we go. Here we go. No. Okay, so it's gonna end in a draw. Let's hope it's enough. We 
really depends also in the result in the other game because we might as well end up last. So Switzerland drew with Turkey and uh, let's take a look at the other third place teams. So we have Finland at minus two. We have North Macedonia at minus five. So I guess we will go through on goal difference and that puts us through to the knockout stages. We're gonna face Spain. This is where the fun starts and we're gonna have more or less everyone ready to go. We have to swap out the Methem in the defense there and I think I'm gonna go with Lawrence because I need Ampadu in the midfield like so. Oh, whoa, whoa, there we go. Really nice goal. A couple of those passes are like pure reaction because I don't have much time to do anything. I just have to like do the first thing that comes to mind. Come on, yes. Ampadu has been making some really good runs from his uh, defensive midfield position in both the games he has started. Really nice one too with Ramsey there. Lucky to get the rebound, but... So we are in front, we are heading to the quarterfinals, unless they mount some kind of ridiculous comeback here. We have it pretty much under control, we are outplaying Spain. Ooh. We beat Spain and let's skip ahead here and take a look at the bracket we're in and who we're gonna face in the quarterfinals. So we are on the right side here and we will face Portugal in the quarters and then if we win we will face the winner between Slovakia and Russia. So next up is Portugal and Cristiano and for this one we have every goalie in bad form. So I'm gonna start Ward. And then we have Ampadu in green. Really tempting to start him. I'm gonna have Ampadu off the bench. And up front I'm gonna start Vokes. Because he's in form. And then that's basically gonna be it. I'm gonna start everyone else. I'm gonna put man marking on Cristiano for this one. Sam Vokes. Great run by Gareth Bale. You just have to use his speed and if you have a head start on your fullback, just run ahead, get around, try to create something. Pieces me off so much that they can't do the pass. 
they get stuck in this passing animation to lose the ball. Like right here, just do the pass instead of like... Okay, so let's try to adjust a little bit here. Not only a little bit, we have to adjust a lot. So we're gonna go with two strikers. We're gonna go like this. And our wingers are gonna be much higher on the pitch. Like this, we have Ramsey right there. Joe Allen is gonna sit. I'm gonna put on Ampadu here. And then our wingers have to contribute much more offensively here. And I'm gonna do Wilson as well. Somewhere around here. And Davis, we're gonna cross it into the box. We have to cross it way inside. I had to win like the rebounds, so we have to do something like this perhaps. Okay, so it started out pretty good, but in the end we had no chance and we had some bad turnovers and also we had a goalie on orange and when you face these guys you have to be in top shape, so we crash out in the quarters once again and uh, what do you think about Wales' chances in the tournament? They seem to be playing pretty well using this formation. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and uh, I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.